Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a static simulation analysis with a new hooky hyperelastic material. Okay, I'm using Vsim 1.9. And uh, before we start the simulation, let's look at uh, the unit. It is a kilo metric, kilogram millimeter. That's what I want. Click the OK button. Let's start a new project. So since uh, there is a nonlinear hyperelastic material, so that we need to define a hyperelastic material. Okay, click a new material object. Then double click. Then we go to go into the editing mode now and click the build tab. We can select uh, the hyperelastic material property. Here is a new hooky. Okay, so in the new hooky. We can define, since we're familiar with the power unit, okay. let's define the shear modulus to be um, 1.5.5, 10 to 6. Okay, now um, for the incompressibility parameter, we set it to the Okay, that's it. Then let's close this editing mode. And uh, for the better remembering this uh, material, we renamed it to be new hooky mat. Okay, now next step, let's create a geometry. I create two cylinders, and then one cylinder I change to be the radius I want to make it smaller, so I'll make it 1.5 millimeter for the radius and height will be 15 millimeter. Okay, the second cylinder I change the radius to be 2.2 and height will be same to the last one 15 millimeter. So we have two cylinders with different radius, and uh, I don't want uh, uh, to have the middle one, so I want to do some boiling operation and uh, in the WSIM we have this option called the make a difference of two shapes so we can cut the inside part so first let me find out which one is the biggest one so this is the big one see the one is big one so I clicked this first then I hold the, the control key to uh, and, and click the second cylinder then we click this cut uh, command Okay, so then we cut this uh, middle part. We have this tube generated. Then we need to assign this step. Is very important. We need to assign the new hooky material to this geometry. Okay, so for the meshing step, we set the maximum element size to 0.3 and uh, use a quadratic element as mesh. Was two boundary conditions. One is constraint, one end. Either force will be another end. We'll pull this tube uh, so to this direction. So make it a one newton. In the other direction, just simply make it a zero. So okay. So basically pulling this tube. A uh, very small, tiny, uh, soft material tube. Okay, then since it's a learning analysis, let's set uh, sub steps to be three. Click the solve button. So in the output window, we can see some uh, uh, messages from the solver. The solver shows us the residual number. It's getting smaller, which means it's converging. Okay, it's going to the second sub-step now. Okay, so third sub-step. Yeah, it's done. Now let's add some result and evaluate the result. So for the deformation, I want to check the z-direction and 
the set of last step. We can double click and then evaluate. So as you can see, the maximum depth measuring on this direction is nearly to one millimeter, 0.95 millimeter. The stress, same thing. We want to know the last step and the status. So this is uh, the maximum stress happening on the on the constraint area, the inner part. The, the maximum stress value is about uh, 0.627 something. So and unit is megapa. It's kind of big comparing to the size and the, the geometry of this, the, the, the material of this uh, item. So yeah, it's uh, pretty simple. In this video, we show you how to create a new hooky material and uh, apply it to the simulation. Very uh, straightforward. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thank you for watching. Bye.